the religious conversation between organic and synthetic, still people market themselves as organic, I think, as a way to try and create more value for what they're doing. People might hate me. I don't know if you can 100% prove that. But I think that if you're like growing outdoors and you're doing things regeneratively, you're creating overall value across the board and you're going to get a different expression from that plant that might have more value. But I don't think the consumer market has caught up to that. I think we're talking about a connoisseur market. Like I know guys that are getting still $800 for an ounce that are all living soil, vegan whatever. I, I, every time I see veganic, I laugh. I'm like, okay. It's just marketing, in my yeah. opinion. And then I know guys that are growing in rock wool and growing with salts and getting 800 an ounce. And then, like for a while, like people would buy my work and label it as living soil. And I would just be like, it's not, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's a mix of organic and synthetic, but people would smell it, look at it, smoke it and be like, oh, this has got to be living soil weeds. So we're going to call it that. 